it's only 103 degrees out here. So, you know, you know they, they built, built all these, they call them, sir, we have many water spots. I said, what about one for me? Do I have one? I don't have one, Marco. They gave water spots. Everybody has a quota water spot. Well, water, water comes out, you get, they don't have anything for me. I'm being drenched up here. <laughs> With your vote, I will begin saving our country. They, they have, have no idea also where, where these terrorists, terrorists are, but Joe and Kamala are simply, simply carrying on with business as usual, holding fundraisers, taking afternoon naps. And, and as Joe says, I want to go to the beach today. today. The guy thinks he looks good in a bathing suit. Did you have this? Somebody in his staff told him, you look great in a bathing suit. He can't, he can't lift the chair. chair. You know, those, those chairs, chairs are meant for children and old people to lift. Old people and children. And he can't lift them. They weigh about four ounces. When, when I'm president, president, I promise you this, I will not rest until we have found these radical Islamic terrorists and throw them the hell out of our country. We're going to get them out of here. And we will not let them back in. So many people, so many people, very few were thrown out, but the ones that came back in during this Biden administration of open borders, who the hell wants open borders? How crazy is it? Under the Biden border disaster, other countries are emptying out their, their prisons and their jails, jails emptying out their mental institutions. And, and I go a step further. further. You know what an insane asylum is, right? Did, Did anyone ever see the lovely movie Silence of the Lambs? Did you see it? Did, Did you ever hear of Hannibal Lecter? He was a lovely man. He would, he would love, love to have you for dinner. dinner. He will take you. He will have many people for dinner. Well, we have a lot of people coming in. They, they always say, oh, that's, that's terrible, terrible, the Trump would say. He's, He's rambling about Hannibal Lecter. No, I'm not rambling. That's that's what we are allowing people from insane asylums and, and mental institutions into our country by the tens of thousands. And, and they're closing them down in other countries. Because, because, you know the cost savings and all of the savings? And, and sending bloodthirsty terrorists, savage, savage gang, gang members, and child predators, predators into, into the United, United States, States to, to pray on our people, to pray on you, to pray on everybody. They're, They're coming, coming not only from South America, but from, from all over the world, from Asia, Africa, and, and every other place. They're, They're coming, coming from all over the world. Two, Two weeks ago, I spoke to the grieving mother, Jocelyn Nungari, a precious 12-year-old girl from Houston who is tied up, stripped, assaulted, raped, strangled to death, after, after walking, walking the block to a 7-Eleven store in the corner, her body was dumped near the side of the road in a shallow creek, charged with Jocelyn's heinous murder. Beautiful, beautiful girl. The mother is devastated. Like, I mean, pretty much, I would say, over. The mother, I don't know, spoke to the mother. Mother is just, as you would be, as anybody would be. Charged with Jocelyn's heinous murder are two illegal aliens. Who, who Joe, Joe Biden, Biden set loose into, into our country. country. He, he let them loose. They, they knew who they were. They, they came across our border claiming they feared for their lives. No, other people feared for her. They feared for their lives when they saw these two guys. guys. They didn't fear at all. They, they had no fear. fear. Tough, tough, they're tough, tough people. And, and Joe Biden and his, his group, group of people let them in. We're going to bring, bring back, by the way, we're bringing back Tom Holman. We're bringing back all of... The, the guys, guys that did such a great job, job in the board. We, we had the greatest, greatest border in history. Brandon, Brandon Judd, great, great people. These are great people. people. One, One of them was in the, the country for only 20 days before ending Jocelyn's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful American life, and recently in Virginia at Trump, Trump National Golf Club, Club in the Potomac, Potomac River, River. I had lunch with, with the mother of and the sister of Rachel Morin. Rachel, Rachel was a 37-year-old beautiful mother of five who was, who was attacked, attacked, raped, and brutally murdered while out on a run. She was running. She, she always wanted to keep herself in good shape, her mother told me. She was a beautiful person. Police believe the sadistic monster charged with Rachel's death first killed another woman in another country, then fled across Joe Biden's wide-open border into the United States, after which he attacked a nine-year-old girl and her mother in a home. Home, home invasion in Los Angeles before murdering Rachel in Maryland. When, when I return to the White House, we will stop the plunder, rape, slaughter, and destruction of our American suburbs and cities and towns. We're going to stop it. We will shut down deadly sanctuary cities. I will shift 
massive portions of federal law enforcement to immigration enforcement. We will close up our border, and we want people to come in, but they have to come in legally. They have to come in legally. And on day one, we will begin the largest domestic deportation operation in the history of our country. And as I say, and I say it all the time, and I already said it here, no one has been hurt more by the Biden invasion than our great African-American and Hispanic-American populations. Under Crooked Joe, 109% of all net job creation over the last year has gone to migrants. Did you know that? Almost every job that was created has gone to migrants. In fact, more than every job. It's, it's crushing, crushing wages, wages for American workers, workers draining resources for American citizens, and stealing American, American jobs. And they are stealing them at levels that nobody's ever seen before. Joe, Joe Biden, Biden wants to be the president for illegal aliens, illegal aliens but I will be the president for law-abiding Americans, Americans of every background, every walk of life, and every race.